gate to send you another 10 sectors. It's something, something that he would mathematically put in that would reduce lag for everyone trying to just go through wherever they wanted. But if like it would just... It would be cool, it, yeah, it it just, would be cool if shops were shaped in a way where you could buy something. Buy like a teleport from a shop and it would like zoom you off to where you want to go to the next so shop. That's here like a jump gate. That's, that's an acceleration gate. Yeah. yeah. So that would be super luminal. No, yeah, because you actually, if you go <laughs> fast then like... Add the ability for the community to purchase upgrades for shops that add on components like that. Yeah. But, like I say, I mean, there's... You can build a gate, power it up, send things through it. I hope they're not too big to get through the other end. Or you can have uh, your warp drive, which makes you go faster than the speed of light through whatever means. Oh, then you obviously oh, wow. have your, uh, then you have your FTL, feet. aka oh, Battlestar Galactica, and um, and then ah, the last one was where you go into like um, you know, another dimension, yeah, hyperspace. So you don't actually clip what through things, one? but if you jump out and you're oh, in a star, you die. Oh, like slip space. Hyperspace. hyperspace. Slip space. Yeah, subspace, yeah, slip like space. Same thing. slipstream, Hyper all space. that sort of stuff, it's the same thing. So either way, no matter Basically how you, like no matter you but forward. the thing is, no matter how you slice it, yeah, it's effectively, you're changing sector in your ship, okay? So mm -hmm. obviously to balance it, you're going to want to put a block on the ship somewhere for it to actually work, and that's going to need or to yeah. and then that's going to need to be powered, it, but... right? I mean, yeah, I, if it was, I would like to see it be something like the stealth and cloak system that we currently have, but maybe... Standing in cloak. Well, this maybe is, just for like a second. Well, like, this is the thing, because you're not trying to get a cloak, maybe it should be that the range what? of the FTL yeah. is limited by just the power of, it, of, of that system. You know? Like every sector well, we... is... Uh... Because in, in, uh, in Battlestar Galactica, uh, they have FTL, make... but it's limited range and you need fuel for it. So obviously, you could if either make... have... Well, are we, is it on FTL? On the... Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, this particular... It's on yeah. topic of FTL. Well, for the... What, the yeah, go ahead. The way we have damning and cloaking set up is, is based on the side of the ship, yep. the mount blocks, yep. and the massive ship. And it requires power to yeah. actually activate. And power. Yeah, exactly. So I'd like to now, see the exact same system. Think, yeah, same system takes a, takes up two times the amount of power for the size of the ship. Well, you know, because that's the problem. If you make it twice the amount of power, but it, it's just an idea. Yeah, but, if you, idea. yeah but that's the thing. I, I don't think it needs. I don't think it needs to be that, because otherwise you won't be able to make a pretty ship that can jump. It'll have to be uh, like we have with cloakers. Yeah. So. I don't think it's necessarily it'll work if it has enough. I think it should be more effective if it has more. So there's a cutoff at uh, which point uh, the FTL, the warp, the whatever system it is that you're trying to make work, you know, it should there should be a cutoff point, you know. So like once you've actually got it working, you know, you've got a system that will jump you. Like if you want to make it go further, or if you want to jump something bigger. They all have diminishing more, returns. You'll need more power. Exactly. Oh snap. So like no, uh, the so you can't the first so in other words, 10, you won't be able to only cost you like a hundred energy per block, but after you break ten thousand it'll cost a thousand energy per block. It, yeah, so so in so in other words you could jump um, a little ship, but probably not because it probably wouldn't have enough power. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, you could probably jump it like Three quarters of the sector. To the sector. Well, depending on the type of trans, the, the, the type, because obviously there's four different types. But like, if you were to generalize, I would imagine that the smallest ships would either have extremely small range, or just not enough to make that particular type work at all. So they would have to be put on a carrier, which has access to a larger amount of power, therefore able to get itself through. For example, if it was going to be a gate, the portal. Because the difference with a fixed gate is that obviously you could like zap it with a power supply beam to power it up enough to get through it, yeah? And then no one can follow you because they'd have to power it up as well. It wouldn't be big enough, you know, it wouldn't be enough juice to make it work twice. Yeah. 
um, with FTL if both ships and like the security with, thing you could do with that because with the with the with the Battlestar Galactica style, obviously they have a cooldown. So once you've jumped, you can't jump again for a certain amount of time. Um, and I know there's an entire law mechanic based around that, but what I'm saying is, if you're able to jump like that instantly, then you shouldn't be able to just jump again. You know, there, there should definitely no, be a for cooldown. a set amount of time. Yeah, because like it, you can this only jump thing, at full power. Because if you're looking at the battle, the, the Babylon Five style, the gates just open and you go through it. If you're too big, you can't get through it. You need a bigger gate. You know, really large ships can make their own gates and be. Uh, yeah, exactly. Well. They can. They can make their own gates. But this is the other thing. If you can make your own gate, it needs to be like such a big power drain that you can do that once, and then you have to wait. Yeah. You know, like. Yeah. Uh, you know, you might go. You might go so far as to say you need a billion power, or or, or some, maybe not so much as that. But if you had a big ship like the Dalmons of Therius, you'd need at least a billion power, and it's going to use it all when you jump. Yeah. Well, for example, the Sleep here is currently a little over a million blocks, and it has 1.8 billion power storage. Yeah. Like, so it, yeah. So you'd be able to jump, sense. right? But this is what I'm yeah. saying. What I'm saying is, the system won't even power up without the billion. Once you jump, it doesn't take away a billion, it just straight up nukes your power. It's just straight up gone. Do you know what I mean? Or you the can't process make a of jump jumping unless, uh, you just are neutralizes both. your energy. Yeah, so kind of like if you if you can't jump unless you are both over a certain power tank uh, threshold yeah. and at full power. Exactly. That. And that threshold is determined by your mass. Mm -hmm. Um, and then it could be like, you know, it, you know, a 20,000 power tank ship wouldn't have enough to even initiate the jump. Yeah, well, that's yeah. what I mean. Smaller ships should be required to use a gate or a carrier power source. Yeah, to or, do. A, or, or a carrier. Unless they're entirely made out of power tanks. Large power ships, ship. they can't jump. I actually have a... Because, uh, like, say you've, got your, say you've got your Starship Enterprise and you want to make it go warp speed. Well, all you need is basically um, some kind of block that takes away the um, speed limit on the server for like, you know, an amount of time. A split second. Yeah, or when you activate it, it, it does that, you know, it'll like give you a five speed server limit when it's active, but it'll require a shitload of power, you know? So like, yeah, mm -hmm. you can go warp nine, but you need a butt ton of power to make it fly stable. And then that could be their whole thing. They could get into this whole warp drive engineering thing where they build all these reactors to make themselves go warp nine stable you know yeah. and that could be a whole new mechanic in the game but like mm -hmm. the, the, it's very hard to balance that because when you think about it they'd have to make like a really clever reactor inside their enterprise model it's not oh there was one more yeah or well exactly. uh, star wars no, no, star wars had that ring that you would take a fighter and you dock it to this ring that had like a warp yeah. engine on it. It oh, would just yeah, like super you toss yeah, your crust. Yeah, true. There was that. But then again, that goes yeah. back to the whole: if you want to make a circular mothership which has a warp drive capability and dock a fighter inside it, you would be able to do that inside of everything we've been talking about so far. Or yep. already the carrier. Yeah. Did we already talk about wormhole projection? Right. Uh, wormhole projection <laughs> is basically the same thing as a stargate, only there isn't a gate. So, yeah. We should do uh, yeah, space style. folding, okay. all that sort of thing. I mean, to be honest, space folding seems to be the most elegant way of doing it in the game because all they're basically saying is when you walk over this sector boundary, you don't change sectors from 555 to 556, you go from 555 to whatever it was you 50, put 50, into 50. your computer. Yeah. 50 50 50 and the game because of the way the game works all it has to do is tell your client that you are there not there and it's done so technically you know after talking with cal at least when he's doing his ideas and things he's mentioned that and it that just made my mind blow up because i was just like all these other systems require extensive coding whereas this one is sort of that's how all of the sectors are patched together Practice. you know like Every every time people fly around, they're crossing sector boundaries all the time. The only difference is that when you come out the other side, it's the next one in the sequence. Do you know what I mean? So it seems like that 
would be the one that would have the least resource load. I mean, I don't know, because I don't code the game. Obviously, Schema is amazing at what he does, and I'm sure <laughs> he's going to find the best way of, way to do it. But I just like having these discussions, you know. So, that being said... <laughs> I said uh, we should use Doom style FTL. Anybody know what that is? Doom style FTL. What's no, that? Doom. Doom style. Oh Doom. yeah, that's right. They had these uh, NPCs, if you will, on the ship. Gigantic actually... carriers. Yeah, with and the nav with the navigators. Yeah, but yeah, the only it... way FTL was rare, and it was only via the carriers. And you need spice. See, there you go. Going back yeah. again, we're sort of verging on Wi-Fi powered FTL. Yeah, see, that's the thing. <laughs> yeah. that's, what it, that's basically what it was, guys. It was Wi Hole powered FTL, and only the people that had been taking Wi Holes their whole life were able to predict where to put the computers, uh, like where to set the navigation so that you wouldn't end up in yeah. the middle of a star. You know, that was the whole Last thing. It's pretty, it's pretty sweet. I mean, when you think about it, like there's all these different types, but effectively that one is, a, it's, a, it's a worm storage. You know, they're 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 folding space, um, but they've got a funky way of actually getting the bridge open. You know, it's not just like, because the beauty of StarMade is you can just have a block, which is your warp block, right, anyway on your ship, and then you have your warp functionality, and then you can play around with it like you play around with the cloaking functionality. Uh, it work. should be, it should be on the basis of the uh, power storage tank that it, you have to place more and more and more exponentially. To yeah, get so more like if you only have a small amount of power tanks, you can only get warp one. <laughs> yeah. But if you have like all the power tanks under the sun, then that would entitle you to a uh, chance of warp eight or something. <laughs> and then all it does is literally apply a temporary multiplier to the server speed limit to that particular ship. Now. The only thing about warp drive, as they showed in the motion picture, is things can be in warp. Do you remember that one? Were they going to crash into some asteroid or something? It was in the movie, motion picture. I can't remember what happened with that. Mm. And also you can get fired upon when you're in warp as well. So... Yeah. These are things as well, so that means that you you are a physical entity traveling at high speed, you know. See, I figured what we could do is if they could make it. Uh... Oh shit! I forgot what I was thinking. Um, it, you would bypass all obstacles, but if there was a pirate station within one sector of your like or within range of your, it would stop you partway through the warp. Yeah. See, that's kind of how they did it in Elite. You had a hyperspace button. Basically, you'd point it where you want to go and hit hyperspace, and you'd get loads of these dust particles streaming past your screen. And if anything was along your path, the server would kick you out of hyperspace. And if it was a rock, you'd have to fly past it. And as soon as it was off your radar, you could hit it again. If there were people, the same thing happens. You'd have to run or fight. Um, and effectively, you just had to get them out of radar range, and you were good to go. Um, the only problem with that is that the random generation in StarMade means that you'd be getting dropped out of hyperspace like non-stop because there's like rocks everywhere, you know, and that's the thing. You can't just say, oh well, don't stop then because then you're going to well, just collide with a whole bunch of rocks. You get somebody to have to fly the initial distance and clear out everything. Ah, so making right hyperspace there. lanes. A bit like, yeah. um, what's it called, uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Uh, <laughs> where Earth gets destroyed to make way for a new hyperspace bypass. No, no. The first <laughs> FTL, the improbability drive. Yeah, true, yes, they I'm, have the uh... improbability drive, but everyone else just had to use normal hyperspace. And as you say, hyperspace... Yeah, but you can think crash. of it this way. So, yeah, but this is, this is an interesting meta, though, mate. Think about it. At the moment, you could have a Vogon constructor fleet go and trash every planet, asteroid, and station in its path. And then you've got your hyperspace bypass <laughs> so then you can go super luminal and not crash into things it just yeah, means I, that you have to build it first which is kind of cool though right yeah i was thinking for the improbability drive was yeah you can ftl you just don't know what blueprint you're going to be flying, flying when, you when you get there yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah i do yeah, like that chaotic blueprint uh, i do like that idea it is very nice um 
the improbability drive is great. I mean, just to not, just just to say <laughs> though, you could have an improbability drive block. It'd be all it would do is just change set to you to a random destination. Do you know what I mean? And a random blueprint you're in. Ah, uh, like, yeah. Well, that would be the icing on the cake. But uh, I mean, just like easily now, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you could probably make a, a custom script that would allow for it. Um, but I don't do that stuff. I've just seen people do it, so I know it's possible. I've got a rough idea of how they did it, and I'd love to speak to them about how they did it. But uh, hopefully that will all come soon. Um, but yeah. <clears throat> We're going to we talk about... about wormholes. Uh, permanent and projected. We've talked about space folding, which is basically the same thing. We've talked about stargates and how they could be powered and how you could balance that. We've talked about warp drives and how you could balance that as well. We talked about FTL as in Battlestar Galactica and we covered some ideas on how that could happen without it being an overpowered mess. But just a little uh, sort of, you know, sub note, I'm pretty sure that all of this stuff is in their ideas pad already, you know? And um, we I just love the work that they're doing. Um, is there anything else that you guys want to add to this? Boarding? Boarding? Yeah, that's the next subject. <laughs> oh, better yet. Uh, so we'll be coming back to you uh, very soon with, um, with boarding. Is there anything else anybody wants to add to the final parts of this FTL chat? Uh, another, a, like, a power block? block type, so get more power from that block. Say what now? Someone well, that like, have to have so much power. Ah, okay. So in, you're, what you're saying is some kind of new you know, tier, a new tier of power for the yeah. yeah. So in other words, everything that we have now can't do it because it hasn't got the warp core block. I can't whatever, think of the word. Right? Somebody help me here, but beam me up, Scotty. What do you call? What do you say? Uh, that is exactly what you say. Yeah. No, 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 no. That's what you say. But what is that? It's being beamed up, you know. Transporters. Uh, like transport? te transporters, teleporting transporters. your player. So like you could beam somebody from ah, a yeah, ship. Yeah. Do you know what? We should cover that <laughs> while we're cover we'll cover that while we do the boarding chat in a sec. Awesome. But basically what yeah. you're what you're saying, Yelby, is instead of putting some FTL in the game and making everybody try and blah blah blah, actually put in a dedicated higher tier power system along with that so that yeah. it's just not possible unless you're using that system somehow. Keep in mind that the uh, Star Trek teleporters yeah. are actually a bit dangerous. Because Keep in mind that we're not talking about Dude. that yet, Maglev. <laughs> Maglev. It's all good, we're mate. Not, we're, not on yeah. that topic yet. we're nearly there, bro. Don't Get worry, we're minute. nearly there. <laughs> <laughs> right, so basically what you're saying for the last time, AI Yelby, is a new higher tier power system which would allow the extreme requirements of all of these FTL systems to actually be used. So that means that it wouldn't break any ships, because you could choose to refit them with this new system somehow, even if it was only small, for limited yep. capability, or large if it was a big carrier. So I like that. I really like that. Almost like, you know, a red power block instead of a blue power block. And it's just like 10 times as powerful, but you can actually... Except, except it can be blown up if it's shot. If it shot yeah, it will blow up, yeah, it's unstable and... <laughs> yeah, so you'd only put it in the heart of your ship. And then also, of course, it wouldn't be useful for anything but, you know what I mean? Because you know how we have mm. to link stuff? So, like, you could only actually, in theory, link these power systems to these new higher power, higher tier blocks, such as FTL or something other in the future which they might come up with. This is what I'm thinking. Uh, it could be done a number of ways, I'm sure. So, uh, this is all uh, so thanks for joining me on that little FTL chat, guys. Um, there's still about 10 people in here, which is nice. Um, I think what we're going to do then is stop it there.